Hey guys, welcome back everyone to the latest anime news for the week ending May 15th, 2022. We got some doozies for you all. It is a weird anime news week, I tell you what. Um, let's start out. What? Okay. You're the brand manager for Umusume Pretty Derby. It's time for a cross promotion. John, what is the most logical cross promotion you can think of for Umumusume Pretty Derby? Probably Uniqlo uh, clothing brand for okay. jockey like yes. clothing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, good, good call, Steve. How about, what do you think? <clears throat> Honestly, it, it, it should be something along with horse racing. And, and what's the most popular horse race? Kentucky Derby. Right. Absolutely. Kentucky Whiskey, maybe. It, you know, exactly. Yes, or whiskey. Yes, yes, yes. Whiskey, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, me, I, I'm going to go slightly out of bounds with this. Um, Top Gun. Nah. <laughs> Uma Musume's official Twitter account revealed a tie-in visual to promote Top Gun Maverick. Which features Mayano Top Gun as a promotional pilot. Yep. Yep, this is the thing now. This is the thing now. Um, she wears an aviator jacket and a parachute harness. Speaks lines such as, you copy. And her skill animation even shows her parachuting off a plane. Uh, I defy you to find me a horse that can't fly a jet. Right, exactly. <laughs> it just makes sense. Top horse. Yes, there we go. <laughs> when she's not on the turf, she's kicking your ass in the air. Exactly. Top horse. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, oh, Rift Jacks fans will understand. Street horse. The horse that fights crime. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, okay, okay. So that's a little out there. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> little? Just a little. little. Just a little out there. That's out there. Okay, but... <clears throat> now you're PUBG, right? You're the brand manager for the biggest, one of the biggest mobile games, one of the biggest shooter games out there. Yeah. It's time for... <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, one, of the, one of the biggest... So you, know, you want to do a cross promotion. Fortnite has all the characters in it. They're constantly bringing Marvel characters, all this crazy stuff. You're PUBG. You want to bring in a collaboration... John, who do you collaborate with, and what characters do you bring in to PUBG? First person shooter. Uh, or, I mean, John Wick. John Wick, great call. So, great so call. bring John yeah. Wick in. You know, you got oh, somebody who's real kick ass, and they do the thing. Yep. And yeah, John Wick. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely. That's a great call, Steve. I'd, I'd go with um, Charles Bronson. Uh, Ooh, uh, uh, yeah. Yep, great pull, great pull. Um, again, I'm going to go slightly off kilter, something a little bit different. I'm brand manager. I want to bring the most kick-ass character ever, the most confident action hero I can think of, Shinji Akari, <laughs> to PUBG. Or more accurately, you can purchase a Shinji Akari plug suit skin for your characters. Um, as of yesterday, um, this is a preview of the skin you can see right here. Um, uh, there's also a core circle survival battle mode featuring Unit 1 and 6th Angel launching May 19th. to survive an Angel Assault for, for a little while before the Unit 1 deploys. But I don't uh, want to get in the PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> um... I will, I will go one better. At the very bottom of the, 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 the uh, story, the online multiplayer Battle Royale game has collaborated with numerous video game and anime franchises in recent years, including Jujutsu Kaisen, <coughs> okay. Okay. and Sakura Wars. What? Yeah, Sakura Wars. The um, Magitech early 20th century Takarazuka Review franchise. With Mecca. Sure. Throw that in PUBG. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, yeah, here's the problem. All the other folks running around PUBG, 
and you're running around in Shinji Akari's plug suit. With a target on your back. Exactly, yes. <laughs> you, you might as well put Pretty Sammy in the plug suit pile right. giant <laughs> robo. I mean... I'd rather see Hello Kitty. I agree. I Because at least agree. that would be somewhat amusing to see like Hello Kitty like mowing people down. Yeah. Gloomy Bear. Oh. Gloomy Bear. Yes, that's the one. Gloomy Bear. Just that's kicking all the crap one. out of people. <laughs> there you go. See? There's crossovers. There's crossovers. And then there's... Then there's that interesting choices. <laughs> choices were made. Yeah. Um, because, because you know, anyone who, who watches Evangelion and they see this exchange, this is the choice that they make. Mm. You know, they're going to go to the one cringe scene, right? Well, right, of course. Yep. You know, to well, actually, the one cringe scene out of Evangelion. There's like so many of them. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, um, it's pretty much a long cringe scene. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of him next to the uh, bedside to um, yeah. Asuka in the mm-hmm. hospital. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, so, so is the brand manager still employed at PUBG? Sure, of course. I mean, what can go wrong? You're right. Absolutely nothing. They haven't been losing players for months now. Okay. <laughs> so the LA Chargers, Before. this um, couple, couple, oh, couple God. days ago, um, they posted this tweet that said, that starts: "Should we really make our schedule release video an anime?" And below that, it is the word no made up of the word yes. <laughs> and sure enough, there is this like several minute long <clears throat> basically <throat> AMV um, of this supercharged Japanese song with clips of um, the Chargers facing off against various opponents done anime style. It's definitely not by an anime studio, but kind of in there. Um, the moment that did make me laugh is, you have various versions. They were against the Rams, so there's like a Ram with a helmet on or whatever. Um, uh, so various things. And then they, they do um, Chargers versus the Browns. And they said, um, uh, um, cut because our lawyers said we shouldn't do this. And then cuts to something else. And it's like, oh, 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 oh. wow. Um, but yes, you see the, the Chargers on like the One Piece ship. Um, you know, the whole <laughs> nine like it's it's very very anime reference heavy. Um, Thank you, Mugen Train. It, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, they, they're going up against the Titans, so obviously oh, there's that. Um, uh, and then a bunch of, of other uh, NFL and jokes. I actually really enjoyed this. Um, it's obviously meant very much in in fun. Um, it's very goofy, and um, I think it's, it's very much in kind of that freewheeling spirit uh let's just have fun with us so so i work with guys who are uber like i really love football and of course i'm mm. a, a ravens fan but i work with people who are like the uber sports mm. football you know mm. stats and all that stuff yeah yeah <clears throat> so i just realized that one of them is going to come across this yeah. at some point and i'm going to walk in and they're going to go steve we have questions yeah <laughs> You know what this is, right? Right. You've seen this, right? You know what this is, right? Explain. Explain. You're into cartoons, right? Can you tell me this cartoon's all about? What the hell is going on here? (laughs) Well, you know, making the joke about PUBG losing audience members, and you look at the a lot of these MSN polls and stuff like that. It's like the vast respondents are like, "Are you going to watch the Super Bowl?" Like ninety percent are like, "No." (laughs) (laughs) So. Anywhere you can find audience is, is good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Absolutely. So if they if the Chargers promise like anime in between like you know commercial breaks Ooh, and stuff, you might go. develop a, a better mm-hmm. audience. I don't know. Yeah. Um, heck, I think twenty one has plenty of fans. Hey, it, Char- Charger it, it, Girl and Juden Chan. Ooh. You know, and make it L A Charger Girl go. and Juden Chan. Nice. So, so in all in all seriousness, mm-hmm. is there? a Japanese sports football, American football anime. Yeah, I showed 21. That, that yeah, is, is it? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, that, is, that is American football. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and it's fairly popular. Like, it, 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 it's, you know, it's not um, Croco's basketball, but it's definitely, you know, a very well-known sports anime. It's no Captain Tsubasa. But... No. <laughs> um, 
and and there's no Sweet. like you know no freewheeling after dark you know hitting go- like hitting golf balls with yakuza or anything. birdie girl <laughs> birdie girl yeah <laughs> that was one of the shows we watched this weekend and folks were like yeah i want to watch more of that uh <laughs> i've got to see where that goes um now gundam has kind of conquered everywhere like you go into a gundam fan's <clears> home <throat> and you've got you know you probably you, you've certainly got gunpla you know set up in various rooms you you probably got like a gundam knife set in the kitchen right where have they not conquered they've not yet conquered the bathroom until now um you're in the bath You've got your bath bomb. The bath bomb melts out, revealing, of course, a gunpla. Right? Um, Bikura Tamago, or Surprise Egg, is a toy brand in Japan. Um, and they uh, very, very commonly will put capsule toys inside bath bombs. And they are now doing a gunpla um, bath bomb. Uh, actually, two of them. Strike Gundam Deactive Mode and a mini goon from the Gundam Seed uh, franchise. Uh, this is a entry grade 1 144th scale Gundam, which is interesting because that's that's, that's, that's not an insignificant size. So how they're going to fit all that inside the bath bomb is, is interesting. Um, all I see is a very blurry photo um, of what these are going to look like, so I don't know how detailed they are, how complex they are. I think they might just be four pieces of plastic, but okay. Um, that's the thing. But can you build them in the bathtub? Yes, I am sure you can. I am so absolutely like, sure you can. Okay. Is there some there may be I'm not going to get out of the bath to build no, this. No, of course So not. once it dissolves, the basketball-sized bath bomb, yeah. I'm going <laughs> to sit in the bathtub, and I'm going to build this, and heaven help anybody if one of the little hands goes down the drain, because I will scream. True. Absolutely. Well, well, see, see, this is where you know the the, the question of articulation of, of yeah. said mecca comes in mm-hmm. for the bathroom. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I scrub the shower stall with it. Yeah. Oh, no. Boy, the, new, the new gun blah scrubber. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> wonder what the uh you know there, there's got to be that like there, there've got to be like absurd gundam stuff for well, gundam toilet brush right? gundam toothbrush exactly, gundam yeah. toothpaste oh toothbrush good call there's absolutely gundam toothbrush out there somewhere maybe i wonder if there's a it, one that features like the song the intro song to whatever season uh, press the button they brush uh, your teeth yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'd buy that. Yeah. I think I'd buy that. Exactly. Yeah, it's better than the one they offered eons ago. It was Justin Bieber. Yeah, true. Unless you're a Bieber fan, then it was great for you. And then you can time your, your toothbrushing to the song. Make sure you get your toothbrushed, you know, in, exactly. in the, the length of the song. See? I love it. Well, I think, I, I no joke, I think they literally were two-minute clips mm-hmm. yep. because <clears throat> that's the... Re- you know, American Dental okay. Association recommended time of brushing your teeth is two minutes. Yeah. So it's just like, oh, I got you. Mm-hmm. Clever. How um, much? How much e waste is it for a, a singing <laughs> toothbrush <laughs> when you throw it out after like two or three months? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Um, and now, moving on to a franchise that is not well known outside of Japan, um, <laughs> Kinnikuman, which is a pro wrestling themed thing that's about all I know about it in fan fairness but I know it's huge in Japan well um, there's a picture field guide called Gaken no Zukan which is uh, in, uh, ANN describes as an indispensable educational book series in Japan um, and while they're generally dedicated to natural life um, they're doing an upcoming Kindikuman themed um, book featuring 1,400 Kinnikuman wrestling techniques. Four, There'll 1, be a 000, quiz on that later. Yes. <laughs> 1,400 techniques and over 1,600 illustrations with nine, sorted into nine sections. Blunt strike, body press, external wound, lock throw, knock crash, sealed move, and superhuman technique. 
Uh, so this is going to be like so, 900 pages yes. long. <laughs> so, so basically, we're going to see an entire ja mm -hmm. generation of Japanese and neck braces. Yeah. Jeez. A lot of kids with only one eye because, you know, the whole yeah, the eye gouging thing going on. Oh. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, that's going to be a thing. Um, wow. It's going to be regular wow. edition and, of course, a special edition uh, with a case drawn by the manga author. All that stuff coming in September 15th. And a free neck brace. <laughs> and a free neck brace. Exactly. <laughs> Signed by the author. Coming oh, soon. Thanks. Coming soon. In the store near you. Um, one moment. I will now done. recite I will now recite the entire Magna Carta. Alexa, stop, damn it. <laughs> Hey, just for there those you of you in chat land, just so you know, Alexa is is yes. just a a, a non-person. Well, no one's getting murdered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like the special relationship a lot of people have with Siri. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, let us move on to some just more traditional anime news and some upcoming anime adaptations. Always exciting, Ooh. my friend. Yes. Favorite way of uh, uh, my favorite kind of news. Um, um, there is a stage play called uh, Token Ranbu Kiden Ikusayu no Adabana. Um, it was announced their first non musical stage play, um, which is inspiring an anime adaptation. Um, it's basically um, following a, um, a uh, the Fudo Yukimitsu, which is the sword that Oda Nobunaga. Received one of his attendants, so a famous sword from legend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and the original play's director and screenwriter, uh, director and screenwriter, will actually oversee and write the series scripts for the anime, which is. Wow. Uh, okay. um, funnily yeah. enough, they did not specify the anime's medium or format, but did say that the anime's broadcast window and other details will be announced. So, I think we can assume TV is coming there. Um, yeah. But, I'll buy uh, into that. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Um, um, based on a game, apparently, um, takes famous, famous stories from Japanese history and interprets them as, of course, hot guys. So, that is coming. Um, which as long as there's no singing involved. It's a non-musical adaptation. I think yes. it's what, or, or Maybe? I don't know. Sure. Post Club nice. for Swords? I, well, yeah, who knows? Who knows? It's going to be a lot of unsheathing in that, and it's going to uh -huh. be... <laughs> Nine thirty. Interesting. <laughs> I'm just um, talking about swords. Exactly. Just talking about sword play. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. There's um, gonna be some crossing of swords, and it'll be fine. It's right. only John exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, hot guys, not hot girls. If you want hot girls, we have an anime adaptation coming up for Yuri is my job. Um, okay. Um, uh, the Kodaja Comics description for the manga is um, the story centers on Hime. Um, a high school girl who cares deeply about her image as a sweet, helpful princess, but inside only cares about herself. Um, she gets manipulated into working as a waitress at a place that's part cafe, part theater, where all the waitresses pretend to be students at a fictional German all-girls boarding school. Which sounds weird until, again, that book that I read a month ago about German, about, like, you know, those like early 20th century students Stories right, yeah, for girls relation. about boarding yeah. school life. It's that. Okay. Hime okay. finds herself falling for another waitress at the cafe who, in front of the customers, gives him a love and a devotion like she's never known. There's just one problem. Hime's crush hates her guts. Aww. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, ten volumes of the manga so far, so that is coming out um, soon. Mm -hmm. Um, what's great is there are uh, two teaser visuals for the anime. One is the two of them, you know, clasping hands in the typical <clears throat> sort of outfits, staring lovingly in, in each other's eyes. The other is them clasping uh, hands. The, the other one is giving like a murder glare at the other one <laughs> while she's kind of looking <laughs> shocked. <laughs> Hi. So yeah, so that, that is a thing that is coming. Um, should be fun. 
Um, another one called, um, this, is, this sounds sweet, um, Kubo w- Won't Let Me Be Invisible, um, manga being an yeah. TV anime. Um, basically, first year high schooler, um, very much goes unnoticed, but one of his, uh, one of his classmates is a heroin level beauty who always notices him and kind of teases him to kind of draw him out a little bit. Um, so, um, the, uh, described by Manga Plus, perhaps, um, perhaps this story is still two steps from being a romantic comedy. Let's call it a sweet comedy where a background character becomes visible. <laughs> so, a little, bit, a little bit of a Comey in there, maybe. My Dress Up Darling, maybe. That kind of a thing. Sort of Psyche K. Okay. I've not seen it. Reminds that. me of... Okay. Yeah, that's uh, you have somebody who wants to be invisible, mm. and then the class beauty who's like, everybody uh, should be like totally in love with me. Why isn't he looking at me? Yeah. I should pay more attention to him. And he's like, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> She's like, oh, he must really must he must be so shy that he can't <laughs> confess his love for me. I'll follow him more. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Those can be very cute kinds of stories. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, also getting a very shonen title, The Seven Deadly Sins, Four Nights of the Apocalypse manga oh, is getting wow. a TV anime adaptation. Um, I don't think they're doing enough with that franchise. Gosh. There's uh, so much of it. I, I got lost at some point. I was just like, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I haven't even started with this, and I'm just like, uh, yeah. I don't what, yeah. What blows my mind is Seven Deadly Sins started in 2012, like the manga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's only been around a decade. Um, and there's just so much of that. Yeah, so um, uh, ANN summarizes. Um, so you have the first 24-episode TV anime series, released in two parts, then a four-episode TV anime special, Signs of Holy War, then another series, um, Revival of the Commandments, then an anime film, then the third series, Imperial Wrath of the Gods, Yeah. then... Dragon's Judgment, the latest TV series. So that's four. Um, and there's an upcoming anime film project, Grudge of Edinburgh. Oh. Yeah, I made it into uh, the. Tw- I think I made it into 15 episodes of the 24 run, mm. and it's just it just I got I got overwhelmed with like everything else and that. It's like ah, it's gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So uh, yeah, the. This probably should be weird anime news, but uh, we're also getting a new My Hero Academia anime special, two episode special. Um, that will first screen in theaters June sixteenth through nineteenth. The first uh, one of the episodes will be Hero League Baseball. Uh, okay. It's about baseball loving pro heroes who form Hero League Baseball, and there is a teaser visual full of. Weird looking superheroes in baseball uniforms. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, all players are allowed to use their quirks. So good to know. Hmm. Um, more details about the other episode at a later date. Season six will be premiering this fall. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty popular. It, it, I gotta tell you, it seems like yesterday that that, that just came on yeah. my radar. Mm hmm. Yep. <clears throat> I'm still nine episodes into the first season. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and it's, been, and it's yeah. been how many years? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Don't feel bad. Yeah. Um, we're also getting... Oh. oh okay. Um, we're also getting a new work in the Ski Jumping Pairs CG anime. Also wacky. Um, uh, it is a technically anime franchise centering on a, um, a very fictitious ski jumping competition with two athletes on the same pair of skis. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. And then making ridiculous poses, you know, while they're jumping, you know. Uh, (laughs) Ah! You know. uh, Um, And yet there's no curling anime. Come on. I know, I know. Come on. I don't know. I kind of want to see the ski jumping one because it's got to be hysterical. Um... For what it's worth, it was started as a graduation project at a, at a film's animation school. Um, they launched that on DVD in 2002, so a while ago. Um, wow. it, the, it won an excellent award at the Japan, Japan Media Arts Festival in 2003. Um, they did a feature-length film in 2006. There was a PS2 game and a smartphone game for this. Oh. What? <laughs> wow. Yep. Okay. Yep. 
it's gotten some traction. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm curious. I want to see. Yeah, I, I'm kind of wondering about it. Definitely. Um, moving on to the less um, anime adaptation side of things. Um, my anime list and uh, Honeybee, a web novel platform, have announced a, a second web novel contest. Um, $3,000 cash prizes for the winners in each of the three categories. And winning entries sent to Kodansha for possible publication and or manga adaptation. Nice. Um, three prompts, school, rom-com, and cyberpunk free to enter. So if you're interested, um, entries we accepted through from June 1st to September 1st. Um, so, yeah. Um, to give you an idea, though, the first contest ran in 2021 and received 853 entries in total. So there's a lot of competition out there. Just so you know. Um, also in kind of bookseller news, um, um, Kanakawa's Bookwalker website has made nine works on the site available for free um, uh, uh, this past week and through this week as part of an awareness campaign um, uh, advocating against war. Um, the campaign oh. is dubbed, It's High Time We Thought About War. Um, they will accept donations uh, with plans for to the Ukrainian embassy in Japan, Partners Without Borders, and the UN High Commissioner for Refugees. Um, you can get some uh, manga adaptations in there, Barefoot Gen, um, Ishinohana, Diary of Anne Frank manga adaptation, uh, adaptation of, uh, uh, of Jojo's World 1984, um, and others. So, FYI. Nice. That's cool idea. Um, <coughs> speaking of Gundam, we mentioned Gundam earlier in bath bomb form. Um, perhaps one reason <laughs> they can branch out that much is that by the Namco Holdings has announced that Gundam earned um, 101.7 billion yen um, in the fiscal year ending March 2022. That's about 783 million US dollars. This is the first time it has earned more than 100 billion yen in one fiscal quarter. Damn. So Gundam's doing well. Um, these earnings are a 7% increase from the previous, years, previous year, and about two times more than 2010. Um, they also said that Gundam now represents more than 10% of the entire sales of Bandai Namco Holdings. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the, the next high, oh, the, the, the higher, well, it is below Dragon Ball at um, 127.6 billion yen. Um, but Bandai Namco notes, we don't own Dragon Ball. We are right. the toy maker for Dragon Ball. That's a toy property. Gundam's all ours. <laughs> so, wow. Mm. Dang. <laughs> um, and they proj projected it, um, next year they will it will be thirteen percent of overall Bandai Namco holding sales. So yeah, Gundam doing well. Glad to hear that. More Gundam, please. Wow. Yeah. More gun gunpla bath bombs. More gunpla bath bombs. Yes. Yes, please. My, my Sporting time. industry. Exactly. If my next hotel doesn't have Gundam bath bombs, I am running out of there. I want Gundam milk. Gundam milk. Here Where every time you open a carton, there's a Gundam gun plot inside. There we go. Okay, yes. <laughs> uh... Talk about a choking hazard. Gunpla <laughs> <mayonnaise. laughs> gun mayonnaise. Oh, there's exactly something in that. here. <laughs> oh, neat. Pure Gint loaf of bread. <laughs> I can't cut this. Oh, it's got a gun in it. Oh, neat. Oh, dear. Angel egg bath bombs. Crunchyroll and Sony announced on Tuesday they'll screen the Dragon Ball Super Superhero anime film uh, in theaters worldwide this summer uh, in both Japanese audio with subtitles and with an English dub. Um, note, I said... Not G Kids. I said Crunchyroll. This is to be the first Crunchyroll globally distributed theatrical release. Huh. Um, there's an English sub trailer for the film on Crunchyroll, of course. Um, it'll distribute the film in all continents except <coughs> North America, Latin America, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Africa, the Middle East, and Asia, except Japan. Um, Go Crunchyroll. <laughs> exactly. The film will open in Japan on June 11th after a delay um, due to the hack of Toei Animation. 
What? Did we talk about this? I, I, am I aware of this? Uh, um, I had not heard of I this. I was clicking through to an, a news item from March of uh, March 10th. Toy Animation announced on Friday that on March 6th, an unauthorized third party accessed the company's network, which resulted in a suspension of part of the company's systems. I'm reading from ANN. Investigating the matter and added this will affect the broadcast schedules for One Piece, Dragon Quest, Adventures of Die, Delicious Party Precure, and Digimon Ghost Game. Really? Whoa. How did we miss this one? I know. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, Was I drunk? I know. Um, <clears throat> we, weren't, we weren't on hiatus, were we? Maybe. Um, that, that would be the most logical. Yes, uh, Captain. That would be the most logical. Logical. Um, do, 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 do. Apparently, um, Precure was delayed by a month. Whoa, that's huge. Yeah, that's uh, for us not to have noted that. It, we, yeah, we had to have yeah. been on break. Yeah, we had to have been on break. There is no it's way in hell yeah, yeah, okay. that. Weird. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so the, so that, wow. The film will open in Japan on June 11th. It's usually stated to open in June, uh, on April 22nd. I got oh. pushed back by a month and a half. Whoa, okay. Good to know. Apparently, yeah. that was a thing that happened. Um, wow. The film is a re-adaptation of some early um, Dragon Ball stories, a Red Ribbon Army storyline, um, oh. which is really cool. Um, so yeah, that's a thing that's coming out. Hmm. Good luck it's my you. birthday. It's my birthday. Uh, cool. Hmm. It's your birthday. Hmm. It's your birthday. birthday. Ghosty. It's your birthday. <laughs> um, <clears throat> G-Kids did announce... They're going to screen the original short anime Deiji Meets Girl in theaters June 2nd as a double feature following the screening of Fortune Favors Lady Nikuko. Um, um, it is a, looks like a sort of fantastical summer adventure kind of a story. Um, high school girl works part-time at the Francisco Family Hotel. A listless guy kind of comes along and, uh, you know, wackiness ensues. Thank goodness they didn't double that up with Anne Frank Diary. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you certainly want something nice at the after, you know, whatever. I don't know. Um, and then G-Kids also announced a little screen, The Deer King, um, a medical fantasy novel series anime film, uh, or an anime film about a medical fantasy novel series. Um, hmm. the, um, the poster looks... Barry Ghibli, <laughs> um, guy riding an elk, I kid you not, um, little girl in like a, a red dress uh, and various characters hanging around. Um, that was about a, a head of a group of soldiers, he's going to die fighting for their lands, but he's, he is uh, taken through into a salt mine, strange dogs attack the salt mine, a mysterious illness breaks out, he meets a young girl, um, and a medical scientist risks his life to search for a cure. Uh, while doctors study a father and child who survived the illness. So it's about uh, basically um, fighting a disease, sounds like, um, in sort of a fantasy mm -hmm. world. Hmm. Um, ah, character design by Masashi Ando, who worked on Princess Mononoke. Aha. Uh -huh. And Spirit Away, and your name. Hmm. So, cool. Um, um, also, animation director for Tokyo Godfathers, Minoy Agent when Moine was there, and your name. So, not bad. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that is a thing coming. Um, it was a competition at Annecy last year. Um, won the Bronze Audience Award at Fantasia, August 2021. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing that's coming. The Deer King. Cool. The Deer King. Okay. Deer King. Deer as in animal, not as in, like, beloved. Deer King. Oh. <laughs> oh, my Deer King. Um, yeah, and I believe that's it. That's all the news mm. this week. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of news. A lot of news. A lot of news. Thank you all for watching. And, and news within news. News within <laughs> news. Exactly. We learned so many things this week. Oh, the Gary Ganoo. Exactly. Yes. No good news is good news. Exactly. 